Hi, I'm Stephanie Strange. Want to hear something scary? Lurking La Lechusa. Jessica danced around the field at her uncle's chicken farm. She hummed a happy tune, adding a whistle here and there. She and her family had made their trip to El Salvador to visit relatives for the Thanksgiving holiday. Her Theo's farm was nothing like what Jessica was used to in New Jersey. She kept whistling as she lay in the field, looking up at the sky and wiggling her bare feet. Suddenly, she stopped. She swore she heard a whistle back. She sat up and looked around, expecting to see someone or something capable of making the noise. But there was nothing except the chicken coop in sight. She knew the chickens were definitely not making the noise. Her heartbeat quickened. She slowly looked around the field, eyes darting side to side. It seemed she was alone. So she drew a deep breath and then whistled again. As she heard a whistle response, her eyes widened and she jumped up and ran towards the house, leaving her boots behind. The distance felt like eternity. Her bare feet were torn up by twigs and rocks, but she didn't dare to stop. With the house in sight, she noticed someone waiting on the front porch. Safety, she thought, feeling so relieved. The woman from the front porch rushed over to help her. Jessica collapsed in her arms and tears ran down her cheeks. She was too worked up to wonder who the woman was. Thank you, thank you, Jessica cried. But when she looked up into her lifesaver's face, she couldn't mask her repulsion. The woman had no eyes and cloudy white balls filled the sockets. Her face was gaunt and lined with wrinkles. Her lips and eye sockets were tinged with black, appearing as they were rotting. At that moment, Jessica fell into her Theo's arms, but not before she smelled the stench emitting from the woman's mouth. He shouted at her to leave his property as he carried Jessica inside. As her mom bathed her feet, she told her familia what happened. Her Theo took out his shotgun and closed up all the windows to the house. He told them he believed that Jessica had summoned La Lechusa. He explained this was an ordinary woman who had sold her soul to the devil to become a bruja, a witch with mystical powers. She could shapeshift between her human form and an owl looking for her next prey. If she whistled and you whistled back, well, he didn't need to finish his sentence. Jessica's parents chimed in, telling them it was all a ridiculous tall tale. No one had anything to worry about and they all just needed to just get some sleep. The night was still and quiet. Jessica lay in her sleeping bag on the guest room floor. She was still nervous from before and purposely kept her breathing low and quiet, and then she heard it. The whistle grew louder and louder as she crawled to the window, her feet still too tender to walk on. Peering outside, she saw a massive, gnarly looking owl hovering outside the window. It whistled. Jessica threw her hands over her mouth, knowing she must not whistle back. The sound of a shotgun spooked them both. A bird dropped to the ground. Then, with an obvious injury to its left wing, it flew off into the woods. When Jessica looked down, she saw her Theo standing outside with the shotgun. Next to him stood her father. She shook as she listened to them bicker. Her father asked, why? Why didn't you just kill the darn thing? But her Theo said, you can't kill La Lechusa with a gun. Her father gave a hearty laugh. He didn't really believe in those urban legends, did he? Her Theo's stern expression said it all. He informed her father that whoever tried to kill it with a gun would mysteriously die themselves. Then, with nothing further to say on the matter, the two men went back to their home. The following morning seemed to wash away all the terror from the night before. The smell of Thanksgiving feast filled the house. Jessica was sitting at the table when she noticed the strange old woman from yesterday standing at the front door. 
Jessica called out for anyone, but her mother was busy cooking and her father and Theo were at the coop. Through the window, the old woman still looked disheveled and creepy, but Jessica reasoned that the woman had helped her the day before. She opened the front door, but before she could ask what the woman wanted, Jessica noticed blood seeping through her shirt and on the left shoulder, the same as the left wing of the owl her Theo had injured. Jessica gasped and tried to slam the door, but it was too late. Jessica's mother screamed. A few minutes later, the men arrived at the house. She told them she came in from the kitchen to find the front door open, a short trail of blood on the porch and no sign of Jessica at all. Her Theo shook his head in despair as Jessica's parents wept. To this day, the legend of La Lechusa lives on, daring no one to whistle in happiness.